if you scam me, shimmy out, shimmy out. Yeah. So I've been driving the Grand i10 Neos for some, some time now and uh, this is going to be a short test drive uh, because the traffic conditions like there's a lot of traffic jam here but I've driven this car for some time now and I'll just share with you what I thought about it. So the first thing when you sit inside the car definitely you feel like everything is very premium and that big car feeling is there. Now I've driven both Grand i10 as well as Elite i20. Now when you sit in the Grand i10, it does not feel like you are sitting in a very big car. It feels like it's a small compact car itself. Whereas when you sit on the Elite i20 and drive, you feel like it's a big car actually you are driving. This car actually feels like you are driving that i20 big car feeling. Now this is in width as well as length is smaller than the i20 no doubt. But when you sit inside the car, it definitely gives you a feel that oh, it's a little big car I'm driving, not a very compact, small size car. So that's a good thing because people will get like that premium feeling. Everything like uh, materials and all, everything is like good to feel as well as feels premium. The whole layout is very like modern. Plus one thing that I've noticed is that the speedometer is now completely digital. Normally in other cars we have seen even from Hyundai they are like all are analog but this time they have done something like different. The information and all plus the speedometer has become digital on this and the RPM meter is now analog only. So that's something different and makes the whole layout look very futuristic. Uh, visibility wise like the windscreen is very big so you won't have any trouble this is also not very big so you have good visibility of the blind spots and all mirrors are very big only like it's not like you will find like you're not able to see properly even the window actually feels like it's very large so some cars you feel like it's not like uh, that big it feels like normal size but in this actually it feels like oh, it's big uh, like windows you have got so that was about when you sit steering this is the sports variant that is why you don't get leather wraps uh, like steering on this if you go for the Astra you'll get the leather wrap inside and all uh, okay you it's a clear See inside pretty much it's the same like if you see sports and Astra you won't find like heavy difference We'll just take the U-turn then I'll come back So this is the AMT that I'm driving uh, 1.2 liter BS6 engine AMT So like normally I don't have that much practice of driving an AMT I drive a manual car so whenever I drive a manual car, I'm able to like judge more better like how is the car compared to AMT. This one, when I like first when I sat and started driving, one thing is that you will feel like like everything is being done by the car itself. You are just clicking the throttle and everything is happening. That is how AMT is. So once you like start the car, uh, the car starts moving slowly on its own even if you just don't press the, press the accelerator also. If you start giving the push, definitely the car will go faster. Now the acceleration wise this is an AMT transmission so there is a slight delay on how the engine performs that delay is definitely there on this also that is how AMT works so suppose there is like now there is no empty road actually but if there is empty road and if you want to go suddenly fast if you press the full throttle uh, the car won't suddenly start going fast it will take some time reduce the gear and then start moving forward so that is how the AMT works. So basically you also have an option to actually like manually change so there is like if you just shift the gear right then you can manually change the gears also so if you want that extra like control over what the gear system is doing you have that option too. Overall like this is how the sound cabin is no music nothing like direct cabin sound that you can hear very quiet engine 
now the 1.2 liter is the tried and tested one no doubt it's like in hyundai you already know it's like smooth no sounds no vibrations it's the same here only thing this engine has been upgraded now it's become 1.2 bs6 engine bs6 ready so the diesel uh, currently we are driving the petrol and diesel also automatic is available so diesel one is bs6 ready so it's not bs6 still once in april come they'll change it to bs6 but this is bs6 compliant so this is the same engine that will go after 2020 also so we are, this car is available in both diesel and petrol so in petrol actually we have um, a lot of variants with like amt manual dual tone so first let's talk about the manual so it starts with era magna then sports then we have the asta what we are driving currently is the sports in uh, amt this is the top end you can go if you want asta then you can own straight uh, straight uh, huh? i was actually in manual yeah so by ma manual i mean you can actually change gears manually on this or you can leave the amt for the box to change on its own so that option is there by manual i mean that not that this is a manual car only that you can just click up and down to change gears so i was talking about the variant so you get four variants in just manual transmission now in that also you you have the dual tone option so in sports there is the dual tone option that you can go if you want dual tone there is only one option you have to go in sports and if you want to go for manual again there are two options that you can go one is uh, magna i think and one is sports in petrol if you want to go automatic in diesel then there is only one option that is the sports in diesel actually the variants are slightly less i think there are only three variants in diesel compared to petrol has lot of options diesel is 1.2 liter bs6 ready as i've already told you now in like this traffic jam condition i don't even have to press the accelerator just let the car glide and it'll start moving slowly now feel wise steering is very very smooth like all hyundai's this is no different very smooth to use only that one thing is that if you are like me who drives a manual one thing you will feel is that the car will take some time to react to whatever you are doing like in the acceleration kind i'm saying whenever you accelerate it will take slight time then it will react to you so that is how the car is performing currently so this car is the sports compared to asta this is not missing a lot of things so basically there are like minor minor things that is missing pricing starts from uh, 5 uh, 4.99 that is the base petrol and almost goes to i think 7 lakhs i'll show you the pricing now on the display i'll be able to see the pricing so like turning and all in city very very easy to turn no you don't have to put much effort and all just aram say easy to drive car now this car is position posi positioned huh. this car is positioned between the grand i10 and the elite i20 so people who are wanting little bit more in terms of premiumness from the grand i10 but couldn't uh, go directly to the elite i20 this is like in between that segment this is the horn horn also you get the nice one premium horn this is now lot of traffic here braking wise i did like felt it's like adequate nothing i felt like it's very different or too powerful now i haven't driven a lot fast in like this conditions only i'm driving but yeah it pre feels like pretty like you have that good grip so full throttle it'll take that time to actually again the time it'll take and then it'll start picking up see that that now engine does make slight sound at higher rpms but in lower rpms very very quiet at higher rpms that sound is there but no vibrations at all 
smooth engine, slight sound on higher RPM. Straight or right? Straight already. Right already. No, already service road already. हाँ, दो actually तो less traffic है जाल वाली. Right already. Overall and okay, the one more thing, entertainment system. So some people might have doubt that in sports and Asta, is there a lot of uh, like difference in entertainment system? So I spoke to the showroom people and they told me like, yeah, like the entertainment system wise, actually there is uh, like not much difference. Uh, only that this one does not have wireless charger. The top end one gets wireless charger and then no steering wrap. So very very minor things are the difference between Astra and Sports. So you don't get a rear wiper on this. Then you don't get chrome handles. Then few very minor minor things. So I don't find that much of difference between Astra and Sports. At least in this. Others you'll see sometimes they miss out on the music system or few little bit more like camera is missing. But in this that much difference is not there. So now we'll be going on some gully roads and I'll, we'll see how does the car perform on this small narrow roads. Till now it has been very smooth driving. If you are actually driving like normal speed, the gear system is very smooth. You don't find any jerks and all. Very aram se it changes gear. Only if you are like suddenly you want pick up then it will like it will go forward then it will change gear and then you have to go. Like, like this speed. It will go very smooth, no jerks, nothing at all. Suspension wise, whatever I have driven in this uh, city condition, it feels like, like how Hyundai's are not too hard also and uh, like it's like i'm going on the speed brake a little fast and i couldn't feel that much also like it cushions on the ride very nicely okay it's running i just checked if my camera is running or not one thing is that there is no like uh, if you leave the brake and car is on little bit slope then car goes back actually so you have to be careful and that is one thing i have noticed that if you leave the brake and car is little bit on incline then car won't go front that much power is not there so see uh, like now i was on slight incline so if i don't press the brake i have to suddenly change the act to accelerator if i don't then the car will slightly go backward so that is one thing you should know again see so i don't have that practice of driving the amt as much so sometimes i am pressing the accelerator but if on an incline i have to press little bit more so that since i am not used to i go little slow it becomes then i have to press accelerator then change so that is how amt works but i am telling you because i want to share everything that i am feeling driving this car now some bad roads so let's see how does the car perform on some bad roads and how is the suspension here very nicely it's cushioning out can't feel any sharp bumps as such AC also is cooling very nicely, it's in low now but uh, I'm able to like it's not very cold, I'm feeling chill but it's like good that it's keeping the uh, this thing, the cabin cool, some bad roads. It's cushioning out very nicely, like I'm not able to feel any like sharp bumps coming inside the cabin. So like incline, slight delay will be there. So that is something if you are driving an AMT, you will get used to it. I'm driving first time, that's why slightly will feel it's not like very smooth. So 
so overall this is where my test drive will be getting over so what do i feel final conclusion so let's start with the first i'll just tell the driving how was it so position wise i didn't find any difficulty very easy to drive car steering is also like very like easy soft and <laughs> lightweight acceleration is something you need to get used to it gives now i'm full accelerator it goes but it takes light time so that is something you need to get used to brakes are pretty decent like you get good confidence now i haven't driven that much so brakes i can't talk too much only if you drive a lot you'll come to know how exactly is the brake in these conditions very difficult to tell whether brakes are very good or not but currently i didn't feel that oh i have to press a little bit more at least what i am used to is how this car is also driving so i normally general drive i20 as well as santro so similar only i am feeling i'm not feeling like very different so we'll just keep in second gear and full rpm this is how the sound will come So overall I did find like music system is pretty good quality similar to what I have seen in i20 and uh, grand i10 also very similar in venue also we have this good quality only mm -hmm. And also there is no push button start this has the key